The worst attack in Israel's history has taken place. Hezbollah has dealt the most powerful and devastating blow to Israel so far. 110 Israeli soldiers have been killed in a single attack. This is a major breakthrough and Israel is in chaos after that. Israel is angry and they don't know what to do. America has jumped directly into this war. The U.S. has officially started sending troops to Israel because Israel does not have enough troops. A country with a population of 5 million, how many soldiers can fight on so many fronts? There's a separate fight against Hezbollah, there's a separate fight in Syria, there's a separate fight against Hamas, against the Iraqi resistance forces, and they also have to deploy troops on the border with Egypt. They can no longer fight all these battles alone, and they need American troops. But the bigger news is that today Iran and Lebanon have taken revenge on Israel in a way that no one could have imagined. This is the most explosive news today. Yes, the Israeli army chief was kicked out, and how? Through target killing. They hunted him down and killed him. Viewers, this is the biggest news of the day. His name is Herzl Halvi, and he was the army chief of Israel. They were taken out just like Hassan Nasrallah of Hezbollah and Ismail Haneya of Hamas were martyred. People said that Hezbollah will end after the martyrdom of Hassan Nasrallah and Hamas will end after the martyrdom of Ismail Haneye. But it didn't happen. Remember this, I will tell you all the details soon. You need to be with me. But remember, Hezbollah is not a government army. It is a resistance movement. They have thrown out the head of the most powerful army in the world. What great news this is. I tell you in detail how they killed him, so stick with me until the end. More updates are coming. Now America is stepping in to help Israel and guess who has come to help Lebanon. You will be shocked. Saudi Arabia has started sending its warplanes to help Lebanon. This is also one of the big news. Remember I said that 110 soldiers have been killed? Half the brigade was wiped out. The entire unit was destroyed while they were celebrating the night of violence in Gaza and Lebanon. Then Hezbollah killed 110 soldiers in drone attacks. This is such a huge victory for the resistance movement Hezbollah, which dealt Israel the biggest blow in its history in a single day. First killed the army chief, then wiped out the entire unit. This is the biggest and latest news today. According to the Iranian Observer newspaper and other sources, 110 Israeli soldiers were killed by Hezbollah today, which is one of the worst days against Hezbollah. He reported that 110 Israeli soldiers were sent to hell. Global Eye News has since reported that Israel now lacks a substantial army and U.S. troops are being deployed. If this is announced, American taxpayers will be furious, and those who are already mad at Biden say, you're feeding Israel with my taxpayer money while they commit genocide. Are doing, and now you are sending our loved ones, our soldiers, to fight a war that is not ours. Now let's come to the army chief. It was a fatal attack. Israeli Chief of Staff Herzl Halvi was killed in a drone strike near Haifa, just as Hassan Nasrallah was killed by a bunker buster missile in his safe house in the basement of the 13th floor in Beirut. The man was similarly tracked down and killed in a drone strike. Regarding the Golani Brigade attack, Hezbollah has ordered the residents of Haifa, Tiberias and nearby areas to evacuate the city because the next attack will be on these three cities. The details of the attack on Golani base have also come to light. According to Israeli media, as soon as the Hezbollah drone entered its territory, a fighter jet and helicopter chased it, but the drone evaded them slipped off radar and targeted a military base. According to the newspaper, it was a very dangerous drone and it killed 110 soldiers. A wounded soldier told Hebrew media that the Hezbollah attack was deadly and the soldiers were moaning in pain, blood and death everywhere. According to the Israeli media, even three hours after the attack, the spokesman of the army did not give any statement to the media. They don't even understand what has happened to them. Hezbollah used a modern Russian-made drone capable of carrying three small but highly lethal missiles. This Russian weapon has been repeatedly sent to Iran and Iran has also sent it to Lebanon. Hamas will also receive it soon. 
Finally, Saudi Arabia has started sending planes to Beirut in the name of aid, and now Saudi Arabia is becoming a part of this whole war.